Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a get ready with me slash Kylie and Key unboxing. I did buy a pair of glasses that was released last week, I think. If you are interested in the get ready with me, just continue watching. If not, I will put a little time here of when you can see the glasses. So if you just want to jump and see the glasses, go ahead and do that. You are more than welcome. It was a little add on at the end, so I hope you don't mind. And here's a little sneak peek. Let's jump right into the get ready with me. It will be a voiceover, but the sunglass part will be me talking, so yeah. It's just easier, and I literally was running out of time <laughs> to do this get ready with me, so I just decided that that portion would be a voiceover. Jumping right into this, I will be taking Tarte's Brighter Days and Too Faced's Hangover, starting with Tarte first. I love the Too Faced Hangover. I don't know how I feel about the Tarte Moisturizer just yet, so I'm just trying it out still. Next, for foundation, I'll be applying Maybelline's Matte and Poreless in 115 and 125. When I am tan, I do like to mix these two colors together. As always, I'll be applying my eyebrows <laughs> off camera and then just taking the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer as a base before I do my eyeshadow. I really do love using it as a base. It really does work. Using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Palette, I'll be going in with Beam to set the concealer. Since my concealer was so bright and white, I will be using Silk Cream from the same Morphe palette. And just warming up my crease, I will be going in with more and more product until I'm happy with the color of my crease. And then same for the other side, of course. Right underneath Silk Cream, I will be putting Pooter. And I'm using a Urban Decay Naked palette brush that came in the palette. And one side is fluffy and the other side is more small and dense. And then I just continue blending until I'm happy. And then I'll be going in with Soda Pop on my lid. Just packing on the color with this concealer flat brush and then blending it into my crease. I'm trying to take up some of the color into the crease just to blend it out and make it uniform and then I'm adding mocha into like the between area so that you know we have silk cream, pooter, mocha, and soda pop all kind of just blending together. Next, I'm using the KKW Beauty Contour Sticks in the light shade, and I just put some underneath my eyebrows. And here I'm taking the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and putting it under my eyes. Going back in with KKW Beauty Contour Sticks. Here I'm just using the Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist to blend out the cream contour. Next going in with Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, just contouring my nose, adding more concealer to my nose and then on my forehead and adding some onto my chin just to have like a uniform color everywhere and not so like my under eyes are so bright and just you know making it all look um, cohesive. Next I'm going to be applying Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and then I'll be curling my lashes. I'm not adding lashes today because I'm on the go running late. <laughs> And of course, using my NYX Ombre Blush in Strictly Chic and my Nicole Glow Glow Getter, my always two go to's for blush and highlight. Mm -hmm. 
The last thing I'm going to do is put on this Hanali uh, lip treatment that I got from Ipsy. I was going to do a lip color, but I can't find it. <laughs> I put my uh, hair up into a bun. Let me go back a little bit. And I did change my shirt. I am literally getting ready to go do something. So I'm literally running out of time, but I do want to show you guys the Kylie and Key sunglasses. I only got one because um, I was only really interested in getting one. The aviator looking ones were the, um, the ones that I was deciding between. But I ended up going with like the more of the square glasses. Here is the box. I've never ordered anything from Key. I've heard so much about them. So I thought this was a good opportunity to try. I was interested in the when Desi did her line with Key, but I missed out on that. So I thought that this would be a good opportunity because I did like two of Kylie's glasses that she came out with. I did buy a case for $7 because I wasn't sure what kind of a case that this would come with. It does come with something, so I will be using this for another pair of my sunglasses that I love as I don't have another um, case. So this is the case that it comes in. It's a very cute purse looking case. And here's a little um, sunglass wipe. It's really like soft on the inside. And there's a loop here because, and it just says Key Australia right here. There's a loop on it because it also came with a little ball of faux fur and has a, a gold chain here that just says Key Australia to hook on for your little clutch here for your glasses. I think that's super cute and I also feel like you don't have to use this for your glasses you could also use it as like a little night out purse which is cool and here they are now I think everything together was like 90 something dollars I did get the case so I think these were 75 I'm really excited here they are I'm just gonna show you guys a close-up before I put them on they are black on black and they just say keys and then these are the Hidden Hills. Now, it doesn't say Kylie anywhere, which I think that it makes it a little less obnoxious that it's like, these are Kylie's glasses, which is not a bad thing. So I've heard that these might be a little too big on people, or for me, I honestly feel like they're just right because I kind of have a big face. And these are just so chic. Love these. And then it does come with the little like bullet detailing here, which I think is super chic and cute. Thank you so much for watching this video. It was a little random to put it two together, but since I only bought one, I really wanted to show you guys. So that's why I incorporated it into a Get Ready With Me because I will be wearing these out tonight. And yeah. So if you are new to my channel, please subscribe, join the Slay Game. I love you very much. Thank you for watching. And until next time, bye everyone. I actually was looking for a highlight that I can throw in my purse. So let's see if this guy is going to be the guy.